Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I got this 2015 Ford Fusion right behind me. So the issue with this Ford Fusion, customer complaint was they tried to turn it on and then noticed that the vehicle wouldn't turn on after they filled up. So on today's video, what we're gonna try to do, we're gonna try to see if we can fix up this problem and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, so we're inside the vehicle right now, and now just want to look at the codes. So we always want to start off with codes, see if we have any. All right, so here are the codes. We have a P1450, enable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum. All right, I've never seen this code before, but this is what we have right here, P1450. And like I stated, customer complaint was right here is whenever they went to go fill it up, and after they finished filling up the vehicle, they noticed that the vehicle would not start right off the bat. Um, I am going to put a link on a video talking about the EVAP system just right up here. I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth on the EVAP system and what could cause this problem. But what we want to do first, I'm just trying to get all the pieces of the puzzle. Let's just go look up this code right here, P1450, before we go any further. I'm thinking we're probably going to have a purge solenoid issue right here. And like I said, on that video where we're going to put the link just right above, it's going to talk a little bit about that. But let's go look up this code right now. Let's see what we have. And then after that, we can do some other tests to verify. So let's go inside and let's see what we get. All right, awesome. So we have this P1450. So we're on pro demand and let's check out this OE testing. This is going to be talking a little bit about this code, unable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum DTC chart. And if we look at the description of the DTC possible causes right off the bat, and this is what I'm going for, EVAP purge valve stuck open. So like I said, I will be talking about the actual EVAP system. We're going to have a little link right up above right here. Pretty much every EVAP system. I'm just going to do a quick little recap on how it is, and then you can watch the video. We're gonna have what's gonna be considered a purge valve, and we're gonna have our vent valve. Vent valve is gonna be normally open, and that's gonna let the fresh air in, and then we're gonna have our purge valve, which is gonna be normally closed. And as you can see right here, this issue happens when we have it stuck open. When this is stuck open, and then they're trying to fill up their gas tank, those vapors and fumes actually go into the engine. So when this is stuck open, which is supposed to be closed, the vapors start going into the engine and it gets too rich. And then when you try to turn it on, it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna go test that out. What we're gonna do is find this purge valve right here. We're gonna hook up a vacuum gauge and we're gonna see if there's any vacuum while we disconnect it. So if we disconnect it and we see vacuum, there we know that's gonna be the actual problem. And then we can say, change it out and then we're gonna be a-okay. But like I said, Check out that video. It'll be a lot more information than what I'm talking about right now. This is just a simple, quick little rundown of the EVAP system. You got your vent, your purge, and right now we're looking at the purge. As you can see, this is stuck open, one of the possible causes. We're going to go verify that and see if that's the actual problem. So let's go to the vehicle right now and see what we find out. All right, so we're in the engine compartment right here. And if we go down here, we are gonna see our purge valve. It has a little Bosch part number right there. So we have hoses that go into our intake right here. So it branches off, goes from here to our boot, and then from here to our intake. So what we're gonna do, let's move to this side. We can see the back part of it. You see where that green clip is right there? So we look right there, that green clip, and that's gonna be our hose going to our actual tank. And then we're gonna disconnect that right there, that connector, and then we're gonna disconnect this little hose right here, and then we're gonna hook up a gauge to it, vacuum gauge, and we're gonna verify if we are producing vacuum. If that happens, we're replacing this part, which is gonna be that part and these hoses right here and then that should be our fix so let's give this a shot let's disconnect that and let's see what we get all right check that out so this is disconnected so we are not there and then as well the purge solenoid is disconnected as well so like i said this should be closed 
So once we turn this on, because the other side is still connected to our engine, so we are probably going to produce vacuum. If we put our finger here and start hearing something, we know we have vacuum. I have my old school vacuum gauge right here. I know it's all broken and stuff, but it still works. And as you can see, the white needle is at zero. So we're going to see what happens when we hook it up. So let's go inside the vehicle and let's see what happens. Kind of curious. Is this going to be the actual issue right here? Is it going to be that easy? So let's go to the vehicle and let's check this out. All right. So let me just put my finger right there. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. This is sucking and it shouldn't. I don't know if you can hear that. But so y'all can see as well. Remember, it's at zero. I'm just gonna hook this up right here on the bottom to that port. Check that out. Let go, put it on, let go, put it on, let go, put it on. That shouldn't be having vacuum at all. That should be completely closed. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a brand new one on there. We're gonna hook it in and then we're gonna retest this out and verify that that should be closed. So let's go get this part. Let's put it on. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're back from the dealer and there you go. This is a brand new part number right here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch this up. We're gonna take this old one out, put this brand new one on in. So let's do that right now. Bam, we're on there. All right, so there you go. We have our brand new one right here and we got that old one right here. So what you can do, just to verify out here, what you can do, you can just blow into this. You shouldn't be able to do that. It should be closed, remember, like I said. But right there, that's open. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out right now. We're gonna get our vacuum gauge and we're gonna turn this on. Right now, I left this open. So as you can see, that's not plugged in. And our connector as well is not plugged in. So let's go inside. We're going to turn this on. We're going to verify we have any vacuum. All right. So the vehicle's on. We're going to go put our finger right here. There's no vacuum at all. So just so you can see with the gauge, remember, white on the zero, that means there's no vacuum. We're going to go ahead, put this little part right there. And as you can see, nothing. So there you go. That is going to be our fix. Let me turn this off. So there you go. If you ever ran into this issue right here where you have uh, a problem when you're filling up, try to look into your actual EVAP system. But remember, always want to verify that that's the actual problem. So that's what we did. We checked out our codes. We looked at our DTC criteria, and then we did our diagnosis. And then we figured out that our actual purge uh, solenoid is going to be the problem. So there you go. That's going to be our issue. That's going to be our video. Uh, I do want to, uh, this video is going to be for my aunt. She passed away this weekend. And right now, she's in paradise right now. She, she's in heaven. And this video is for you, Tia Lala. You take care. Uh, one day, I'll see you. But if you do like this video, please put a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get our brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. Much love. Bye.